Morning guys, happy Tuesday. I just want to mention real quick, this is the last time I'm going to be able to uh, mention an offer below the two free week trial for NASM, that's the National Academy in Sports and Medicine. That link is below. Free two week trial to give it a try if you're interested in just learning more about fitness and fitness training from the experts. It's a good resource to check out, see if you're interested in it, see if it's a certification you're willing to pursue. Um, I know for myself, I, for my RD credential, every five years I have to do a portfolio with goals. And one of my goals um, is to get my personal training certificate. So that's part of my plan. I'll keep you posted on how that goes. If you guys do use that link below, um, comment below and let me know if you've used it and what you think, if you've done the NASM certification, how you like it. Cut crew pro tip for you. Eat all the salads. Make sure you eat some volume throughout the day. I've got green peppers, lots of romaine, cucumbers, some almonds and craisins in there. I'm gonna add my protein to it later so it doesn't get soggy, but adding salads can definitely help not only fill you up, but fuel you, fuel you with good micronutrients. And then I'm gonna also bring some raspberries and strawberries, not all those, gonna cut them up. But again, berries are super high in fiber. Raspberries, strawberries, blackberries, very high in fiber, very filling, good source of micronutrients. So just a couple things I'm bringing to work with me today. One of these guys, these are okay. Nothing special, but something different. Waiting 20 minutes to brush my teeth or drink anything is kind of a pain in my ass, but you do what you gotta do. So I'm just waiting on that before I head to the gym. I stayed up way too, way too late last night, if you can't tell by my excessive bags under my eyes. Now that I think about it, I had a little bit of caffeine yesterday at work before my, um, I had a three o'clock meeting that I had to do a report at, and I just wanted to make sure I was on point, <laughs> and I don't think it helped, actually. I think I tripped on my words more than anything, but I was at like 2.30. I was thinking I was gonna be good, but it definitely wasn't. Um, I was behind on my guilty pleasure, The Bachelorette. So if you guys watched that, let me know. But I stayed up till like midnight watching it. And so I'm working with less than five hours of sleep right now, which is not ideal. But I knew with staying up, I told myself that I don't care how tired you are, get up in the morning, get a workout in. You know, it's summertime and I really, like summertime to me reminds me of like staying up late, and like not caring how late you stay up and you know normally you get to sleep in if you don't work a normal job but um, I was just okay with it I'm like you know what I'm gonna stay up enjoy my bachelorette and just take the tiredness as it comes but I am gonna have a pre-workout I was looking for it but I placed it by the door so I don't forget it um, I'm gonna have a pre-workout today been trying not to take them um, frequently it's been like a week and a half since I've taken one plus with starting my allergy drops I didn't know if there'd be like any like interaction there, which there shouldn't be, but I'm just weird like that. So I'm going to meet Jason. He's already started his workout, but I'm gonna hop in with him and work some shoulders. Yeah, shoulders. So we'll get some footage for you, I hope, on that. What's up guys, it's Kara here, and I'm just gonna do a quick commentary over some of this morning workout footage that you guys are seeing been a long time since I've done any commentary over my workout footage so I thought I'd give you something new um, this was a workout that we started at like well I started at like 6 15 in the morning as I mentioned I was on very little sleep but I actually had really good energy partly due to taking a pre-workout but I had pretty good energy during this workout um, warmed up with reverse Reverse, oh my god, I'm losing. Reverse flies. <laughs> Reverse, rear delt flies. I usually like to warm up with those on a shoulder day. And then we did a lot of super setting of stuff. Um, been doing a lot of that lately and I actually, I really like it, it's a nice change. It kind of depends what I'm in the mood for. Some days I like to just 
like lift really heavy and depending on the workout take a nice like rest and then you know be able to recover a bit and lift really heavy again and then other times it's nice to just kind of do more superset style where your rest period is much more limited and you can just get a really killer workout in that amount of time as well so supersetted um <clears throat> doing the lateral raises and then doing the one arm kind of laying on the side of the bench that you just saw those i can't do that heavy at all because they're really really difficult so i definitely don't have an ego whatsoever especially on shoulder day because it's not worth like to me fucking it up like you can really jack up your shoulders rip some shit up in there very very easily so um, I try to go heavy enough, but also make sure I'm not like, like feeling pain in in a bad way. You know what I mean? So, and then what else was I doing here? I was just doing um, a drop set there of lateral raises. Hit a lot of sets. Hit several sets of lateral raises. Um, and then we did this super set with the um, Arnold press. Um, super satted with just a basic shoulder press and at this point because I was doing like four sets of the other exercises my shoulders were extremely fatigued so it was really really hard normally I can shoulder press much more than what I was doing here but it felt good I have a feel I'm doing the commentary the same day today so I can't I can't tell right now my shoulders feel fatigued but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be very sore tomorrow um, and then also hit up some overhead press. I can't, I haven't really been able to increase too heavy on my overhead press yet, but I have been consistently practicing these. Um, this was not my heaviest on overhead press. Obviously, I had done several, like, exercises before this. Um, I do like to start with overhead press if I'm really trying to up the weight on that. Um, and then I just hit up some triceps, didn't show the full tricep workout, but I got in like, I supersetted this with dips and then I did another tricep workout that I supersetted. So my full workout was probably about, um, probably 45 minutes to 50 minutes long. So it was a pretty good, pretty good workout and we kept it moving pretty good. Jason's really good about like keeping the pace. I'll want to sit there and chit chat sometimes with him in the morning, but you know, he'll, he'll keep me moving along, which is always good. So, um, these I just did without any like weight or anything like that on my lap. You don't always need that for me. I know just feeling this the squeeze in my tricep is enough to get them sore and engaged. So, Hope you guys enjoyed the footage and enjoy the rest of the vlog. Just have to document this moment of not wearing black for once. Marshall's outfit find. Perfect for summer. It's flowy. And the little shoes. These are Ralph Lauren. And I'm hotter than balls, so not putting on makeup because I'm sweating too hard right now. I gotta hurry up and run into work. I am running a little late because I had to stop at Wagmans to get a Quest bar. I definitely took too much pre-workout this morning and I feel wrecked out of my mind. I don't know if it's because I didn't sleep a lot so it hit me harder or because I took too much of it after taking a week and a half off, I don't know. I'm a little scattered right now so I took a Quest bar to hopefully kind of like calm it down a bit. Got to get into work and I can't talk so hopefully the next time I talk to you, I've got my shit together a little bit more. What is up guys? First things first, I crashed hard today at work. Like, real hard. I was so cracked out and then <laughs> I just crashed at like 11.30. But I feel much better now, like things have kind of subsided. I'm in a good place. I left work and had to rush to the post office. Like I don't understand how people like are ever supposed to find a way to get to the post office or the bank, for instance. Like, when you work a nine to five, how the crap am I supposed to make it to the post office in the town I live when they close at five? Like, how is that supposed to happen? So I had to like rush out of work like a frantic person and like literally make sure I was going a little bit over the speed limit my whole way home. I made it there with like two minutes to spare. We paid online for a PO box 
and so I've been paying for this P.O. box that I haven't actually went to the post office to like officiate and get the keys for. So anyways, I made it happen. I got there at 4.56, so I was pretty proud and got the P.O. box. It's literally like this big. It's like the tiniest little box you could imagine. So no, we didn't, I didn't get it. So like people could like send me stuff. It's more just for like business type um, things of that nature. So I'm not giving out my home address, but you know, it's not for like people to send me shit. But if you want to send me shit, like let me know. Send me an email and I will, uh, I'll screen you out if you're a creeper or not and if I'm comfortable with giving you my email or my home address, I mean, not email. Maybe I am more tired than I thought. Anyways, I got that done. My nails are looking like totally nasty. I'm really pissed off the last gel manicure I got. They must have used like really old nail polish or something and it's like all cracked and crusty and my nails are cracking and it looks gross and like the last thing I really wanna be doing right now is going to get my nails done. Like, I know it's supposed to be like relaxing and fun and girly, but like after work, I'd rather just like go home and not have a bunch of stuff to do. But my nails look super unprofesh, so I'm going to go get those done real quick. And I am going to run into the store. I'm gonna see if they have like a Lenny and Larry's cookie or something to eat because I'm really, I'm starting to get hungry and the nail salon that I go to Actually takes a really long time so I don't want to be like a ravenous beast when I get home so that is the game plan and yeah let's see if I can get me a cookie ended up getting a chocolate chip cookie that's all they had well they had peanut butter but I don't really care for that one as much these things are freaking addicting no I'm not eating half I'm eating the whole thing and they always leave me wanting more so it's probably not a good thing that I eat these because I can't balance them but I only bought the one, so we're good, and then I'll go home and get in a good dinner right now. Time to get my nails did. It is so sunny out, I don't really know where to film, but I wanted to do an update. Here's my nail color. The lady literally took like, I mean, I give her credit, she spent like an hour and 15 minutes on my nails, but I'm like, lady, I just want my nails to not look disgusting and I want to leave. But she was a perfectionist and this is just OPI gel and something about the month being Oktoberfest of some sorts. So my manicure is done and I wanted to do a quick update for my cut crew. Don't worry, I didn't forget about you guys. The cut crew, comment below. Cut crew checking in here. We are four weeks into the cut. And I gotta say, I feel a little bit weird about the fact that I chose two weeks out two weeks into this to stop weighing myself and I kind of haven't weighed myself since. Part of the reason being like, like I mentioned with this cut, I want it to lose a few pounds but then again I'm also at a place where it's important for me to feel healthy and balanced and focus on my life and other aspects. And for me, feeling healthy and feeling good about my body doesn't have to be a reflection of the number on the scale. Um, it shouldn't be. It's just a, it is one measurement. It's one tool to assess your progress and how you're doing, but it should not dictate how you feel. And I've spoken about this before and you have to just assess who you are and how you're dealing with things. And being in the position I'm in right now at work with transitioning into a new role, still being in my other role and about to go into a pretty big deal survey where I'm responsible for my department. It's kind of high stress right now in my life for my work. For me, it's just best that I don't like focus on the number on the scale because I think if I did at this point in time with all the other things going on in my life, they didn't like what I saw, I think it would kind of not push me over the edge, but put me into a negative like mindset about myself. And I'm, it's really, really important for me right now. More important than like totally cutting and losing a few pounds. Like the most important thing to me is feeling good about myself and feeling healthy and feeling like I'm back to nourishing my body properly and not nourishing it like I'm a competitor, like nourishing it 
in a way that feels good and makes me feel good and that I know is right because I know what it's about to fuel food. I am the nutrition expert. Like I've mentioned this before, sometimes I have to get back to basics with who I am and being a re registered dietitian and kind of getting back in touch with that dietitian foodie part of me that sometimes gets lost in the mix of all the other things I have going on. But at the end of the day, like for me, for this cut, which I still think it can happen. I can still cut some, some LBs, you know what I'm saying? Some poundage, um, if I just eat healthy. And I feel like, to update you, I've been doing a really good job with that. I've been eating like lots of salads. I've been craving loads of salads and different vegetables and fruits because it's been so hot in Syracuse that like, it's just sounded really good to me. Um, so I feel like overall, not weighing myself. I have been tracking my macros. I just feel like I'm choosing healthier foods and like I'm in a better place with food and I'm really back to that focus of nourishment and health. And along with nourishment and health, I think comes feeling good in your own skin and feeling good in your body, regardless of what it says on the scale. So maybe that doesn't really make total sense with the cut crew, um, but I think it should. Because when I started this, I just mentioned, you know, losing a few pounds to feel more comfortable. And regardless if I have or not, I do feel more comfortable in my body. I'm proud of my body right now. It's really tough for me. It's been really tough for me, I should say, to get away from the urge to just restrict. It's not like I don't know how to lose weight, guys. It's not like I don't have discipline or if I really wanted to shred it down, I couldn't. I know how to do all those things. The harder part for a lot of people is just, you know, finding that nice balance between living your life and feeling good in your body. And... I never used to struggle with that, but competing sometimes has kind of made it a little bit more challenging. Um, but for me, I guess I'm going on a little tangent now, but for me, that's just where where I do go back and forth a little bit between like, I wanna lose a few pounds, but I also don't wanna feel so restricted that I'm not living my life because it's really important for me to live my life, um, especially after a full year of focusing on competing. So, with that being said, um, I feel good. I feel like things are coming together, regardless that I'm not weighing or taking any measurements. I am doing progress pictures. Um, also, as you guys have probably seen in the vlogs, Jason and I bought bikes, which that was not for fitness. That was more for fun and for like summer fun and something um, that kind of both made us feel like kids again, and we've been super enjoying it. Um, it is an extra form of exercise, although I'm not really sure like how many um, calories I'm truly burning, but I don't really care. But I do think it's making Jason and I both more active. We're enjoying the outdoors more, the sunshine, and it's just been really fun. So like, I really encourage you guys to like you know, figure out something fun. It doesn't have to be fitness related, but something fun that makes you feel like being a kid again in the summertime. And go for it and do it, why not? I wanna know how your cuts are going. I want you to remember that even though I'm calling this my cut crew, it's more than just a number on the scale, you guys. It's about doing things that make us feel freaking good. So I wanna hear below what you've been doing that's been making you feel good because I'm proud of myself and I'm proud of you guys and I want you guys to be proud of yourselves because if you are then give yourself some credit because we don't take enough time in our busy ass lives to give ourselves some credit so do that now do it below as you guys know I, res I respond to most comments I read them even if I don't respond to them I'm here for you guys so um, I think this is going to conclude this vlog I hope you guys enjoyed it um, keep checking back for more. Again, if you guys haven't subscribed to the emails, trying to do those a couple times a week right now. Hope you're enjoying them. Um, that's karacory.com. Go ahead and subscribe to the email listings. And that's going to be it. I'll see you guys in the next one. That's not a bad thing, right? Not at all. It's not a bad thing whatsoever. It's not, it's not that, that I'm against that approach. What I'm against is the label and that, that connotation that becomes associated with 
clean eating. I guess they're just out there trying to make money right now and, and this may help them. It presents this new fad to the world. I mean, I always kind of saw Panera Bread as a place to go eat something fairly healthy. I guess they're changing 